I've been thinking about the way that Trump is. That's paint. Um, and one thing I know about him is if you're on his side, he'll reward you and you will really be in good shape with Trump. If you're against Trump, he will crush you. Um, but sometimes I feel like Trump would be humbled by me. So I would be someone that he would want to be on my side no matter what. But then I'm thinking about, uh, right now I'm thinking about imaginary World War III and how personal it got. Because I was, I was trying to make a point. I was trying to say to the world, I can say anything I want and I won't get in trouble because I'm not crazy even though I seem like I'm crazy. I was, I was proving that I'm not crazy during imaginary World War III. So um, I got so personal with Trump that I said things about his kids and I feel like what happened, and, and that wasn't the first time, and so I feel like I'm purpose like I'm purposely put into a position where I make Trump my enemy. And then Trump chooses this junior college co like well he didn't he's a regular college dropout, junior college graduate who like has proven that he can own a business and buy real estate. All right. He's not a builder. At least Trump's a builder. But I'm sure he has relationships with builders. He's definitely not an architect. Um, he's a guy that sold a restaurant. And who could start a restaurant right now um, without doing a single piece of research? Single piece of research? I would have to actually hire a CPA. But do I... So so do I actually need to do a single piece of research? Not really. Um, that doesn't look like that in real life. In real life, it's actually good um anyways i didn't realize that there there's linseed oil built into certain paints and i feel like no matter what it's gonna have that glare in this lighting so anyways um which brings me to the chief of staff okay i already mentioned him but why would donald trump if he has his own if he's making his own decisions which i actually think he's making his own making his own decisions in the middle of the greatest crisis in the history of the United States, in like, this is way beyond 9-11 crisis, he gets rid of Mick Mulvaney, and Mick Mulvaney is a dot your I's and cross your T's type guy. He was the budget director. If there's anybody that is like an accountant, it's Mick Mulvaney. I mean, I don't know what his background is, honestly, but you get rid of that guy, you've got Trump who is... Like now his, his assistant, his most important guy in the white house is a guy that doesn't dot your I's and cross your T's, but that guy can have a team. So what he's doing is he, I guess he's delegating responsibility. So this guy is more about decision-making and then his deputy chief of, chief of staff will be the guy that's about dotting the I's and crossing the T's. I'm sure you, at some point you have to hire someone to worry about like details I'm sure the, the White House lawyer is going to be important I don't know there are other, other people I'm just saying like I think that Trump is against me and as the stock market as this happened to it um, like I understand why he'd be against me because he's like he's he is very ego he's a very ego guy um he's very sensitive that's why he keeps talking about the fake media all the time in the middle of such a massive crisis fake media's fault that the stock market's dropping even though we got the scariest virus since smallpox scarier than smallpox i mean it's just it's like unbelievable how unprofessional this guy is He's like, oh, the Demo but th then again, the Democrats are so unprofessional because even in the most extreme crisis, the Democrats are going to be like, well, I hate Donald Trump. Donald Trump's the worst. But it's like kind of hard not to hate him because the way he is, where he's like, F you to everyone that's not his base. He's not even part of his base because he's faking like he's part of his base because he wasn't even a Republican before. Now he's a Republican. He's definitely not religious. He can't cite a single Bible verse. I mean, dude, there are some of us that can pretty much 
quote a verse out of every book in the Bible. Well, not every, but every like main book in the Bible, like certain books from Paul and and the Gospels and stuff, and and and, and Proverbs and Psalms. And then there's some people that um, can't cite a single verse in the Bible that are who the religious people worship. And and they, it's it's like, it's proof, it's irony. We have, we we set up our society like I've said in the past. There are multiple antichrists. That's what my mom always told me. And that's what the, that because if you read Revelation, um, it, it's it's kind of weird. Like it's like it like starts describing multiple antichrists. And could I be an antichrist? Of course I can. But you know what? Don't put me in charge. Just listen to me. Like really. Like, let, but like, give me some freedom. Like, let, let me, like, I mean, give me at least, let me have a hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah. How much am I, how much have I actually made up Bitcoin? <laughs> who called, who, who sold Bitcoin at 10,000? Who doesn't have a single penny? Who's got to have his mom's credit card to buy paint? Who can't go buy food unless he has his mom's permission? Who's got to tell his mom when he's going to the store? So, um, but that's not what I'm talking about. Um, anyways, uh, I, I'm just trying to figure out like what I do know for a fact is we need to get behind the president because this is a serious situation because we have potential war because certain people think that this was an American bioweapon because we have, we have to convince people to actually listen to the president to take this situation seriously, because if you don't contain the coronavirus, you can't contain the coronavirus. The only way to contain it is to actually contain it. And until you contain it, you haven't contained it, unless you have a vaccine, and you produce that much of the vaccine. So, I'm, I'm just saying, like, we need a president that's a leader. We need a president that's a president for everyone. But we have a president that's about, like, beating people and that's how you end up with a chief of staff who has an associate's degree and let's hope to God that he has spent a lot of time with um, people that have degrees because he has. I mean, that's the thing. My dad doesn't have an associate's degree at all. He dropped out of U of H. I'm pretty sure he was there with Elizabeth Warren or right around the same time. And um, he, um, he he never got a college degree. And he, But who would, who would I want as my chief of staff? Not my dad. But then again, I don't want me as my chief of staff. <laughs> like, seriously. I, I want someone that's different than me. Like, I'm, I'm not a chief of staff type guy. I could be, but I'm not. I need someone that's... The chief of staff has to be super assertive. They have to be someone that's very bold. Like, with people that are intimidating. But they also have to be soft-spoken. And so, I'm, I'm... But a really good question everyone should be asking is, why would Mick Mulvaney quit or be fired in the middle of such a massive crisis and replaced by a guy with an associate's degree. And I don't hear people asking that, but I, I am saying we need to back Trump, but then should we ask questions while we're backing Trump? Yeah. But I'm, I'm just saying like Trump needs to stop acting like such a freaking selfish, like egomaniac. Someone that has to, Hey, guess what? I, I can bang girls. I, I, I like someone that like the way he talked to that guy about like, I, I can I can just go grab him by the pussy like that sort of like bragging type like the ego like that's the nature of someone that has an ego like that and and I don't think people understand like yeah that they, they, I'm sure people hear me and they go you're more crude than than Donald Trump was it's not it's it's the way he was crude it's it's what it reflects about his ego and then you have all these religious people that are worshiping this guy and then I'm also but then I'm saying like he is a smart guy. Like we do need to encourage him to calm down and, and be a good president and be a president for everyone. But he hasn't ever like, I mean, like you're never going to calm down until you start trying to be the president for, for Nancy Pelosi. Like you don't have to agree with her and she's going to piss you off, but gosh, you, you, you should kill her with kindness. But I don't think he's ever going to do that because she's his enemy.